Hi, Patty. How are you? Hi, Chris. How are you? How are you? Nice to see you. As good as I can be under the prevailing circumstances. Well, let's talk about the prevailing circumstances. Let's do that. Um, yeah, it is kind of a, a somber, bittersweet thing. You're celebrating music, but still someone as big as Whitney Houston passes right. or Etta James. So there's been a lot this year. It's been a, it's been a hard year. It's been a hard year. Etta and, and Don Cornelius and, uh, and Whitney and I keep trying to go to the positive tip of this and think uh, that there's just like an incredible party going on up there <laughs> that we weren't invited to. And if there's a part of me that's a little bit ticked off about the not being invited. Let me tell you something. What? We're going to get in eventually. Yeah. <laughs> I hate to ruin it for you, but we're going to go to that party. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's Beethoven, it's Bach, now it's Whitney, it's Basie, it's yeah. Ellington, it's Sarah Vaughn. There's some cool people. Well, Sinatra's up there yeah. doing an opening number with Sammy. I, come on. <laughs> will it's, any of this? It's a group. Will any of this come out in your music? Does, um, you know, does this uh, filter in in any way, or does it always filter? Well, in? you know, when I when I perform, I do a lot of uh, a lot of dialogue, a lot of anecdotal stuff. Sure. Um, and because I worked with Michael for a while after uh, Michael passed, I would tell stories about Michael because people wanted to know about that relationship. And I had a, a marvelous relationship with Whitney. She was like my baby. And um, I, I constantly stayed in her bum. And uh, it got to a point where she would see me and go, oh God, here she comes again. Really? <laughs> yeah, because I was always trying to get her to do the right thing for herself. She was very selfless. And she would work herself into the ground. If you wanted her to do something over and over and over and over and over again, she would do it. And I was always fighting her about that and saying, you've got to learn how to say no. And you've got to learn how to tell people you've had enough and you have to stop because they don't know if they see you smiling all the time they just assume let's pile some more on your truck and i could never get her to understand that hmm. because she was so vibrant and loved what she did so much you couldn't get her to stop right you know so i i think that had a lot to do with all of her issues you know it's it, you have to you, f you find ways to anesthetize yourself through the issues that you have that you don't want to face. And right. So, well, it's don't a disease, you know. Don't it's, we all. Uh, well, we all suffered on some level. We either overeat or we overdrink or we oversleep. Or we <laughs> work out too much. We have too much sex, although I don't think that's possible. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you've just left on a high note. <laughs> <laughs> or, or a low note. No, that was a high note. The sex part was good. <laughs> okay. Hey, it was lovely meeting you, though. <laughs>